On this episode of Pimp My Totally Not a Gun, we'll be trying out the new throwable spear melee weapon that also upgrades the melee damage of your fists. Let's go test it out. Ever since this weapon was announced, I've been dying to see what it can do in zombies, and today is the day. Because it's not often that we get a melee weapon that, you know, we can actually mess around with and hit things with, but we can actually throw it. Wait, can we melee with it? Oh yeah, we can. Sweet. I was just hitting the wrong button. And we can pick them back up off the ground, and it looks like we start with only three of them. What about if we go to an ammo cache? Okay, so it looks like the maximum is three without Pack-A-Punch. We'll be seeing what it does with Pack-A-Punch in a little bit, but first, what does this do without it against some tier one zombies? Zombies. It better one hit kill. Oh, and got them all messed up. Give me that. What about the melee? How is the how's the melee doing with it? Okay, that's the one hit kill as well. And it don't swing too slow either for being this big of a weapon. So I haven't used this in zombies at all yet, but I have been seeing people talk about that if you actually use all your spears, like you throw all three of them and don't go pick them up, that you'll pull your fists out, which you can already do here in zombies, but it's a new thing in multiplayer. But your fists will actually still have the same pack a punch and rarity as your spear. So technically we can pack a punch our fists now. Now let's see what this can do in tier two without pack a punch or upgrades. So we'll try out the melee first. Eh, it's not looking too bad. On an armored zombie, it can break the armor and actually still kill them. And on the unarmored zombies, it's looking like a three hit kill depending on where the spear actually hits. What tier zombies are you? Tier ones? Get out of here. We're not, we're not, we're not looking for you. But that was just melee. Let's try throwing it. Okay. Looking like two throws almost killed and one more to do it and now we are out of spears can we pick them back up over here there we go we got one back i don't know where the other two went wait can we collat zombies let's see let's get them lined up and toss it oh i did see two hit markers there i think it did do damage to another zombie behind it but it didn't kill two of them let's throw these and now we're at our fists are we doing a bit more damage oh yeah actually way more damage than you normally would do so we just already default get a nice little boost to our melee damage, but not really a boost to our health because these are our normal fists and they don't do anything. Like you can barely see anything on that zombie's health bar go down when I punch them. Okay, I, I can't wait to get these pack-a-punched. Zombies are gonna be catching haymakers. And now how is this doing in tier three unpack-a-punched and unupgraded? Uh, I don't want this hellhound here. You need to go away. Can we actually kill you? Ooh, yeah, we can. That's something. There's a fully armored zombie. That's what I've been looking for. Come here, buddy. Go to the decoy, actually. Don't come here. Let's try to melee him. Uh, it definitely has some lunge on it. I got pulled right towards that other zombie. But on our fully armored buddy, we have not done that much damage. But let's throw a spear. Can we kill the hellhound with it? Nope. We're down to our fists. All right, another decoy. This is perfect. I want to see what unpack a punched, unupgraded fists do. Hold on. Eat these. Take the spears back. No Brittany. I keep picking them up. Fuck it. We're, we're throwing hands. And we're going down. They, they got hands too. Actually, while we're on the ground, we can just do this. We can test it safely. Do I have um, upgraded fist on the ground? I can't really see his health, but I guess we'll, we'll find out if he dies. Hold on. I'm going to spam my click here. We broke his armor. I don't think my normal fist can do that, even, even if I punched him like a hundred times. Oh yeah, look. His health is going down, just not by a whole lot. Actually, I don't even know if those are the, these are the upgraded fists. Now I'm all confused. We'll test that out a little bit more later. We got to get out of here before I fully die. But let's go ahead and get this pack a punch to only two. That's the only crystal I got right now, but we can still get it to legendary. And let's go ahead and activate all of our perks. And it looks like after pack a punch, we get six spears instead of the three. So a slight upgrade. Wait, hold on. Now that we got this pack a punch and upgraded, let me throw all my spears out. Get on the ground, get out of here. Doesn't look like we can throw it any faster with speed call though, which kind of sucks. The th There's not that fast of a throwing motion. We gotta get to a quarterback camp, but it does look like it still says our, our spear is in our inventory. Like it still says it's our weapon and it's legendary. And we can one punch zombies in tier two. This is awesome. This is sick. We gotta go ahead and try this out on a bounty. Come here, disciple. You're our first test subject. Let's throw one to start. That's decent damage in just one throw. Can we stop him from healing with it? We can. What about some melees? Melee is doing great damage as well. He's already dead. Oh, you can try to fly away from us? You ain't gonna get far. Oh, hey, we actually hit him. I was not expecting to hit him. My accuracy usually ain't good. I can already tell this is going to be one of my favorite weapons in the game. This is so fun. We need to go find more bounties. I got a bloodlust. I feel like I'm just going to say it. This got to be the best weapon in the game. I don't even care if it's objectively true or not, because it's subjectively true to me. 
this is way too fun. Because what weapon actually gives you a buff when you run out of ammo? Name one. All right, let's make this snappy, Mangler. I need the money for pack three. We got to go try this out in tier three. See you later, buddy. Actually, hold on. Oh, no, I missed. Nope, one more. There you go. But before we go to tier three, what kind of man would I be if I didn't go and punch this mimic in his mouth? Here, you piece of shit. How are we doing against you? Holy shit, he's already dead, basically. I just beat a mimic to death with my bare hands. They should have never gave me this weapon. I'm about to fist everything on this map. We can finally get this to pack a punch three. How are we doing against tier three zombies now? Better be a one-shot melee. And what about if we throw it? A one-shot kill with a throw as well. Let's take it for a spin against a tier three HVT. Please be an abomination. I want all the smoke. It's a mangler. All right, that's fine. It don't matter who you put in front of me. They're dying. And since we got a good group of zombies here, can we collat them now that we're pack a punched? It looks like it only killed one there. That one killed two. That also killed two. So I guess we can only collat two zombies deep. We don't got enough pull to go any deeper. Story of my life. And we can actually just box all these zombies too. Oh no. I'm really missing Cold War's melee mechanic right now. If we got health while doing melee damage with this weapon, it'd be absolutely busted. But either way, this man is not going to know the difference. He's going to be seeing stars. I actually don't know how much I like the throwing aspect of the spear. Well, like in theory, it's really cool, but it's really not doing that much damage and we can't do a whole lot of damage fast while throwing it. Like it's pretty cool that it has collat ability and it's nice against zombies when throwing it, but the bosses seem to take it pretty well. When we come up in melee, that does a bit better. Let's throw our spears over here. Let's use our Aether Shroud. Let's get the rest of our spears out of here. And I want to box him. I just keep picking my spears back up, though. Okay, now we got our fists out. What's good? Come here. Shit. Actually, you know what? Let's get them while we're on the ground. This is perfect. This actually might be an insane weapon for the unstable rift, too. Like, you have to be an insane person to bring it in there. But if we actually have the pack damage on our fist on the ground, then it would be nice. But it doesn't look like we do, unfortunately. Our fist is, like, the icon down there is actually pretty small. It's all crunched, and it's uh, it's gray. So I don't think we actually get our, our legendary status. That's lame. Whatever. We're still taking them out. Night-night, buddy. See you later. Please don't kill me. Okay, hold on. Back up. There we go. I'll be taking all that. Oh, no. Are we lagging out? Please, bro. Please don't do this. Come on. You got to be kidding me. Oh, wait, are we back? Are we good? I think we might be fine. Don't ever do that again, game. I kind of wish the running speed on this was a bit faster. I think you might run faster with just your fists out. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's see if we can run faster with our spear fists out. Let's throw that. It looks like it's the same running speed regardless. Like we switch to this and it's, you can see a noticeable difference. All right, whatever. Just give me an abomination. Let's go. Oh, it's lagging again. Stop. Bring the server back now. Please, bro. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to have fun here. Nope. Don't look like I'm allowed to. I can't believe I'm getting edged on this abomination. I better be keeping my stuff. That's for damn sure. 69. And there it goes. Awesome. And it did take all my stuff. Perfect. I guess the server couldn't handle that abomination shit in his pants seeing me run at him with a spear. Ready to take him out. So I'm gonna get reset back up and then we'll go fight him. Not even crashing the server can save you from me, pal. There's no running from this. Come here. How's this doing against you? It's gonna be very difficult to try to melee him in the mouth because the lunge always wants to pull me towards his nipples and these zombies aren't helping. Why don't you guys uh, go over there? Go do something useful. Actually, you know what? I have a monkey bomb too while you're at it. Open up that mouth of yours. Can I throw that in there? I did not see a crit. Can I even crit him with this? About to find out. Oh, we can. Okay, I saw the yellow hit marker. The zombies are knocking me again. Get away. Go to the decoy. Leave me alone. And it's not doing a crazy amount of damage. We got our fists out. Let's see how much we're doing with this. Oh, not the greatest either. Hold on. We're in trouble. How much health is he at? Too much. All right, here we go. He's doing another one. Let's toss these in his mouth. Ooh, broke a face. Let's go. And let's bait him into doing it again. There we go. That's a clean throw to the mouth. Call that a spearman. And let's try to punch him while he's doing this. If you're not going to give me ammo. I'm going to have to beat the shit out of you. Okay, give me ammo. We got him almost to half health. Let's keep delivering it. Can you get in there? Okay, there we go. He broke another face. It's always so difficult to melee these guys. We got another Aether Shroud. Let's use it. 
and keep light them, lighting them up or not. I think I hit them maybe one time during that entire Aether Shroud. This is how the cavemen hunted down their abominations. Come here. Zombie, you can stay out of this. Let me take you out. Please, bro. All right, here we go. Throw a few spears in there. Eat it. He's throating all of it. He's like a sword swallower. Oh, come on. You know what? No spears, no problem. I'm killing you with my fists. You're going down. Let's go. We actually killed an abomination by punching it. That's so sweet. Let's keep messing up some bounties. And it's another abomination. All right. We, we had a warm up with that last one. This next one's going down easier. All right. I know your game. You're not surviving. Starting out with another laser. Damage ain't like too terrible against him. It's just really hard to fight this abomination with only melees. And it sucks that we lost our golden armor plates. We're fighting him naked most of the time. Come on. Why don't you have a seat? There we go. Nice little tooth extraction. This abomination's got to be the Spear's Kryptonite. You can still take him down with it, but this is a struggle. He's kind of beating my ass, so I'm not going to lie. Especially since I can't hit him. And we're going down again. How many self are we at? One? All right, that's fine. We're good. We got enough. Let's just not go down again. It's that easy. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Why do I speak? He's standing on top of the car flexing. Knock that off. Ooh, got his other face. Okay, maybe we just need to play a little more patient and actually use the throwing of the spear. We're getting right where he wants us if we're playing up close. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, barely survived. So you gotta stay back and collect the other spears that we're throwing. Come on up, zombies. You guys can bring me some extra spears. And then we can try to force them to laser. And just knock them out from here. There we go. Now we're using our thinking caps. Come on. You're almost there. This should do it right here. Nope, one more. Give me that. And we'll see you around, abomination. At least have a self-revive in here. He did not. We're going to have to load up on some self-revives. And in case you're wondering, I don't think you can activate the triangles with this spear just by throwing it. And I hit the perfect maneuver. Let's see. Oh, let's go. I'm the greatest. Let's see if we can get lucky enough to get some good rewards from this. Why is it telling me low ammo now? Was it showing that before? I know I'm at one spear. That's all I need. Don't be telling me I got low ammo. It's actually kind of annoying now that that's showing up. At least we got our camo and we didn't get anything good. Damn it. Now my goal is to try to get enough money to get my Scorcher up to pack three and maybe get some cashmere or something because I want to go into that new Dark Aether. Probably not very smart bringing the spear in there, but we're just going to do it anyways. It's just so satisfying to be able to basically one punch anything. Armor still takes maybe two hits. Everything else getting knocked out immediately. Peck's lucky he isn't in this game. he be getting fucked up. All right, I think we're good. Let's head in. All right, this has to be the least optimal weapon to bring into this Dark Aether, but I think the Scorcher might even it out. I'm gonna actually try to get some of these contracts done. Last few times I came in here, I might've gotten like one contract done, usually the Outlast, but then after that, everything falls apart. So you know what? Let's start with the Outlast. Let's get that done first. I have absolutely no clue how we're gonna survive this, but we're gonna try. We're just gonna have to toss the spear and run for our lives. So I think stopping the melee is gonna get us killed. Probably doing a bit of anything is gonna get us killed. God damn it. There's just so many zombies that spawn. Uh, actually, I got an idea. We're gonna go over here and use the Scorcher. And go down. Perfect, just like I planned. Okay, we're already two downs in. Not good. Not good at all. We're gonna have to Cashmere. Use it or lose it. I was saving it for when it got a bit more hectic, but this starts and ends hectic. Ain't nothing gonna save me here. Go, Cashmere. Jeez. That was the largest horde of zombies I've seen in a bit. Oh, and now we have this elite. Stay back. Oh, and he's got the EMP. We literally can't do anything when he EMPs us. This is the worst weapon to have for this. We need to throw more cashmeres. Go. Just got to stay the hell away from him. It's Aether Shroud 2. See if we can get some shots on him. Nope. He EMP'd me before I could. We got 6% left. Just got to survive. Just got to survive. Just got to survive. Okay. We're doing it. We're living for now. Is everything dying? Most things. Um, what are we getting from that? Nice. Good loot. All good loot. You know what? I'm calling in that disciple now. We need all the help we can get. And I always go the wrong way out of here. This is a death sentence. This whole building looks the same. Oh, here we go. We made it out. All right. Time to get this poor contract done. Give me that. 
And I grabbed this in our last video, but I didn't really show where it was. I, I just thought I'd save some time since the video is already really long, but there's a key right here that we can grab. I will swap out those. And that's what opens up the post office warehouse. And there's another exit in there. So we'll have that just in case. Let's get to work on this. What does this disciple even do? I don't understand. It just sits there and, and is green. Oh, and he's getting messed up down there. That's two spores down. Four to go. We're doing good so far. Haven't gone down during this, but I probably just spoke it into existence. Let's get that done. And our last two are on high rise. Come on. Break it open. Perfect. And last one. There we go. Give me something good for that. Oh, let's go. Perfect. Not what I wanted to do. I dropped two things that I wanted. You're supposed to be helping me out here. Where are you at, Disciple? And I want this Elder Sigil now. And I am not confident that we can beat this escort mission at all, but we're going to try. We're going to give it the good old college try. And I dropped out of community college. I just think it's hilarious, though, that they added in this escort mission and trying to get it done in an elder sigil is damn near impossible because it takes at least seven minutes to do the entire route. And that's half the entire amount of time you're in the elder sigil. It is the like longest escort route in the game. But you know what? I'm about to use the hell out of my scorcher for this. If I just stay in front of it and keep lasering behind, hopefully we'll be good. But we are already at 68% and about to go down. Awesome. How many self revives am I at? I gotta have at least like one or two in my backpack still, right? I got I got one in my backpack and one equipped. Please don't knock me. Leave me alone. I'm just a boy. What dropped? Is that a nuke? I need that now. Give me that. I want a cluster mine. Perfect. Let's equip that. Get this into position and throw it down. And this is actually a really good spot for us to use the scorcher here. They gotta come down this alleyway. There's no other place they can get at. Holy shit. Another Aether Shroud. It finished doing the super suck. Gotta let the beat breathe a little bit. Let it charge up. Shoot it again. Mimic, you can get a spear. Hey, we're one stop down out of like, what, four? I don't know if we're making it through this. Ooh, this is doing great against bosses. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. We are taking out elites very nicely with it. And they got us right back. We're down to one self revive left. Not a fan of that. If I go down again, I'm leaving. We're two orbs through. That's something. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a boss up here. If I remember correctly, we're going to have to fight an abomination and a disciple, I think. But we got this stop to worry about first. Oh, we're doing it. 25%. We're actually pretty close. I think there's only one stop left. And I still have a cashmere and a jug to use. I'm going to preemptively throw down my jug. So that's ready by time. Oh shit, I might just, I might have just blown up my own ACV. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Okay, cool. Here comes the abomination. I'm going to make sure this thing starts up on its mission. I'm throwing that down. I'm getting the jug out and we're going to town. See abomination. We need to get you out of here. ASAP no Rocky. Perhaps ASAP Ant. Maybe even a little bit of Ferg. I don't know where the abomination went. He just disappeared. That works for me. Oh, wait, he's not even dead. We actually might have gotten this. This is the last stop, right? Oh, we're not out of the blue yet. Come on. Get it. Get there. Fly away. Take off. You're safe. Go. Oh, we actually did it. No fucking way, dude. That's crazy. That's my first time completing that. And probably gonna be my last. There's another self-revive in there, though, as my reward. I need it now. It's my money, and I need it now. Give me that. Equip. Good. Sick. We got them all done. Got some decent rewards from it, too. I think I might have lost... Uh, Legendary Aether tool along the way somewhere. 
I might have panicked and dropped it. Is there no zombies out here now that we finished every contract? That's kind of sick. Let's let's explore a little bit. I already know that there is a boss fight, a secondary fight against the entity, but I don't know if I can do that with the spear and the scorcher. I don't know if that'll even do damage to it. Oh wait, no, there still is zombies. This one lone zombie here that's tweaking out. Wait, they're all dropping in from the sky. What the fuck? It's raining zombies. All right, let's not let's not dig around too much. Let's take this time to explore. Let's see if we can find the key to in here. I see some chests in there. I don't think there's going to be anything crazy, but you never know. Are you even supposed to be able to get to this ship without a Scorcher? Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, we got a Scorcher back. Let's go. That's a good ROI. What goes on above the ship? There's a rift up there. But I think I'm, I'm hitting like the ceiling. So I'm trying to scorch her up and it kind of just bounces me down. Yeah, I'm going to take fall damage if I try to double scorch her up. Can you get into any of these other buildings or are they all boarded off? Actually, you can get in here. Oh, an oven. 805 what does that mean all these buildings off the side have like a lot of rooms and stuff you can go in but not a whole lot of anything you can get out of it at least not that i'm seeing i guess that's fine though we only got three seconds left here we got some decent items let's get out so overall review of the spear i like it a lot and i think this might be one of my favorite weapons in this game it's a lot of fun to use throwing it doesn't do an insane amount of damage but it is kind of nice to like toss at a bunch of zombies running at you because it can at least collapse two of them. And the melee swing's actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. On top of that, when you run out of spears, actually having that upgrade to your fist is a lot of fun to use. So I definitely recommend giving this weapon a try if you haven't already. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.